Hey YouTube. So I made myself the TMR machete bender. Um, I basically just looked at the picture and made my own. It goes for I think 178. Um, they use half inch uh, little studs here. Um, I made mine on a, a two by two uh, metal piece and then this one uh, other piece. So this is a two by two. This is a one by one that's four inches long. Uh, I think that's like inch and a quarter thick. Uh, these rods are uh, half inch diameter and I think this one is like three and a quarter long. This is three and a quarter long. But where the one inch part right here is, I machined it down about four thousandths. So it it moves without moving the rod. And then this one uh, is like psh, inch and three quarter ish. I went about three quarters deep into this, so it didn't go all the way through on the back one. And then everything's one inch apart. So from center to center, that's one inch. From center to center, that's one inch. And then these are three eighths by uh, sixteenth um, thread or whatever, three eighths coarse thread. And I put a little step. So when you put it on the vise, it has a, a little table. Uh, went about a quarter inch all the way around the whole thing. So that's how I made her. Um, and then these are all pressed in, so they're, they're not coming out. It's a, probably a, a good three thousandths press fit, two thousand, three thousandths. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you how it works. I mean, I, I basically went off their pitcher. I, I, I don't have one, but, uh, I'll let you know how it works here. So you can make... You know, like uh, brackets for mounting your fuel cell or uh, whatever little bracket you need hanging off your race cars or side-by-sides or um, you can bend up little metal things if you wanted to hang like a little flower pot or, uh, you know, arts and crafts. Um, so you can... And, you know, thicker solid stock. I didn't try tubing. They, they said it, it bends tubing, like heater hoses and stuff, but I don't know. Uh, I'll show you how easy it is. I, I made my handle longer. My handle's three feet long. I, I didn't know how long theirs was. So this is a inch and a half by, it looks like eighth inch uh, flat stock. You know, I've, you were gonna make a fuel cell hold uh, mount or whatever uh, strap. This is about the size you would use. So it's inch and a half by probably eighth inch. And I mean, it bends pretty easy. And then, you know, next side. got the basic shape of a a fuel cell strap um you know obviously measure it and it'll come out a little nicer but those are pretty nice bends even um, I did bend some thicker stuff just to see how it uh would come out this is two and three quarters this is aluminum eighth inch uh and I mean it I bent that pretty good. I just went back and uh, flipped it over to the opposite side and just squeezed it a little to tighten up that corner. Um, you can see that corner is, you know, pretty nice. And then the opposite corner, it's a, a little more lazy. But uh, 
I mean, it, it'll it'll bend it. I mean, you can bend some pretty tight, tight things up. Uh, here's a little chunk of three inch. That looks, that's eighth inch. So here's a piece of three inch. It's got a hole in the middle. I don't know how that'll affect it, but let's find out. Uh, I'll go off to the side a little bit. Um, these studs up above it are maybe like an inch and a quarter above. So this will give you an idea of it working out. So it, it bent it on a kind of a weird thing, but if you go back. So I mean if you need it to bend something thicker, you can you can get it. I mean it's not too bad out of a square. You just don't bend it all the way and then um tighten it up on the opposite side. So you can do thicker. Uh but it does bend inch and a half really nice. It don't you know it sticks a little a little above it, but it pretty much gets the whole thing. Uh, let's try this solid stock. I think it's three eighths. Yeah, three eighths for your exhaust hangers. Let me put a little end on it. Curve part. would go and I guess if I want it at the top weld it to it to the frame or something I bent it pretty good and that's three eighths. Um, their their bar looks like it's probably about twenty four inches. So I have a little more leverage, which helps. Um, but it seems like it works pretty good. I used uh, half inch drill steel too. So I I don't know what they use. They might have used a hardened hardened material that's ground to half inch or something. Uh, I guess I wanted something that would bend a little bit and not snap. Um, but very useful too. Uh, 180 bucks. I would say it's probably worth it. Um, portable. You can take it anywhere, you know, as long as you got a vice. You do need a little room for it. Uh, and it, it does, like, uh, by their picture, I'm only going off of what I could kind of calculate, but I mean, it, when the handle is completely open, it looks like it's about a half inch between the, the studs where you would put the metal. So, I mean, you, you probably could do a half inch, but then, you know, you, it's the same size as your uh, pins. So, good chance of bending or breaking them. So... I would say three eighths. Three eighths is a good size. Um, I'm sure theirs is a quality unit. I, I painted mine basically the same colors as theirs. Uh, I imagine this piece is gonna get all scuffed up. I don't know how they attached this to that if it just slides off, mm -hmm. if it's able to slide off. Uh, I didn't want mine coming apart. So. All right, there's my review. I, I'm sure it's a good design. Uh, I would say it's probably worth the money. I had more time than money, so. All right, thanks guys. Like and subscribe. And keep on trucking.